total overflows. Sex an opportunity for higher transformation. Sex is just an opportunity for a higher transformation of life energy. As far as it goes, it is all right. But when sex becomes the whole, when it becomes the only outlet for life energy, then it becomes destructive, it brings misery in life. It can only be the means, not the end. And means are meaningful only when through the means ends are achieved. When a man abuses the means, the whole purpose is lost and destroyed. If sex becomes the center of life as it has become now, then means are changed into ends. Sex creates the biological foundation for life to exist. It is the foundation stone of the building that life is. Sex con creates the biological foundation for life to exist and to continue. It is only a means. It should not become the end. The moment sex becomes the end, the spiritual dimension of life is lost. But if sex becomes meditative, then it is directed towards the spiritual dimension. It becomes a stepping stone, a jumping board. There is no need for sublimation then, because energy as such is neither sexual nor spiritual. Energy is neutral. Energy is always neutral in itself. It is nameless. The name comes from the door through which it flows. Just as when you flow through the one door, you call it bathroom door, restroom door, kitchen door, living room door, bedroom door. Doors are of same dimension, same looking same and they take from one space, inner space to outer space. The name is not the name of the energy itself, instead it is the name of the form that this energy takes. When you say sexual energy, it means energy that flows through a sexual outlet, through a biological outlet. This same energy is a spiritual energy when it flows into the divine through the heart center or kalp. Energy itself is neutral. When it is expressed biologically, it is sex. When it is expressed emotionally, it may become love or hate or anger. When it is expressed intellectually, it may become scientific or literally. When it moves through the body, it becomes physical. When it moves through the mind, it becomes men mental. The difference differences are not of the energy as such, but of applied maintenance of it, applied manifestations of energy. What are the applied manifestations of energy? So it is not right to say sublimation of sexual energy. It is if the outlet of sex energy, if the outlet of sex is not used, the energy becomes pure again. Energy is always pure when it is manifested through the divine door it becomes spiritual. But the form 
is just a manifestation of that energy. The word sublimation has been has very bad associations. All theories of sublimation are theories of suppression and nothing else. Whenever you say sublimation of sex, you have become antagonistic to it. Your condemnation is there in the very word sublimation. And the only option that comes to you is suppression. And suppression has not helped anyone. Suppression without awareness and expression without awareness. Awareness is the key. If suppression is with awareness, it can help. If expression is with awareness, it will help again. You ask, what can be done about sex? It is a valid question that almost everyone asks when along the spiritual path. Anything done directly to sex is separation. Anything done directly to sex is separation. There are only indirect methods in which you do not concern yourself with sexual energy at all, but rather seek to open the door to the divine. You are directing this energy which has been causing damage to you or disturbance to you into other creative channels. The ultimate channel where it should be directed is the divine or spiritual channel. When the gate to the divine is open, all the energies that are within, uh, within you begins to flow towards that door. When you see there is a flood or somewhere the tap has remained open, the water is flooded in the area, then you direct the water through the outlet that it can go out. Or you can direct into creative channels, for instance, for irrigation or for nourishing the plants. Sex is absorbed then when all the energies that are within begin to flow towards the door, that door, the divine door. Sex is absorbed in it. Whenever a higher bliss is possible, whenever a higher bliss is possible, the lower form of bliss becomes irrelevant. You are not to suppress them or fight against them. They just wither away on their own. Sex is not sublimated. It is transcended. Anything done negatively with sex will not transform that energy. On the contrary, it will create a conflict within you and that will be destructive. When you fight with an energy, you are fighting in fact with yourself. No one can win the fight. One moment you feel that you have won and the next moment you feel that sex has won. This will go on continuously. Sometimes there will be no sex and you will feel that you have controlled it and next moment you will feel a great pull of sex. It is like the gravitational force. You feel the pull of sex again and everything you seem to have gained will be lost. No one can win a fight against one's own energy. If your energies are needed somewhere else, somewhere more blissful, sex will 
disappear. It is not that the energy is sublimated. It is not that you have done something to it. Rather, a new way, a new way towards greater bliss has opened for you and automatically, spontaneously, the energy begins to flow towards that door or that center. If you are holding stones and suddenly diamonds come your way, you will not be given notice to drop all the stones to hold the diamonds, will you? They will drop by themselves and if you never had them as if you had never had been holding in your hand, you would not even remember your renunciation of the stones that you had in your hand. <clears throat> you won't even realize it. It is not that something has been sublimated. A greater source of happiness has been opened to you in the form of diamonds and the lower source of happiness, the stones have automatically dropped away by themselves. This is so automatic, so it's spontaneous that no positive action against sex is needed. Whenever you are doing something against any energy, it is negative. The real positive action is not even connected with sex, but is concerned or connected with meditation. You will not even know that sex has gone. It has simply been absorbed by the new energy. Sublimation is an ugly world. It carries a tone of antagonism, of conflict in it. Sex should be taken for what it is, natural, spontaneous and normal. It is just the biological foundation of life to exist. Do not give it any spiritual or anti-spiritual meaning. Simply understand the fact of life that it is the fact of it, that it is the biological foundation of life to exist. When you take it as a biological fact, then you are not concerned with it at all. You become concerned with it only when some spiritual meaning is given to it. You continue to make the foundation because you want to build a strong structure over it. You become concerned with it only when some spiritual meaning is given to it. So do not give any meaning to it. Do not create any philosophy around it, around sex. Just see the facts. Do not do anything for it or against it. Let it be as it is accept it as normal and do not take any abnormal attitude towards it. Enough for now.